please remember to post a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell to always get my new travel videos. Good Sunday morning from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur has impressed me quite a bit. It's a very modern city. Uh, it's extremely advanced, uh, far more advanced than many European cities, probably most European cities I've visited, including Frankfurt, Paris, Copenhagen. Uh, extremely efficient, uh, very courteous, very professional, very tourist friendly, and uh, very advanced. Uh, costs here are between a third and a half of what you'd expect to pay in Canada or the USA. This was the view I was looking at. I'm staying at the Marriott, a loft, and uh, there's all the different hotels around here. And this is called Central, where the Central train station is. Uh, lots of office towers. To give you a size comparison, Kuala Lumpur is the size of Toronto, Canada, about 2.8 million people. They have a very clean and modern monorail system. Monorail system lets you see the city. That's our next destination, a tall building. As I said, Kuala Lumpur is the size of Toronto, Canada. But take a look at this metro system they have. Look how elaborate it is. In Toronto, we just have two lines. And uh, look at this thing. I went from here to here. This is the building I'm heading to. It's the Wardison Merdeka Tower. And this is, I was surprised to learn, the second tallest building in the entire world. It's only 400 feet shorter than the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, and it's about 500 feet taller than the CN Tower, and it's an office tower. Well, I'm sorry to inform you and myself that this tower, uh, which was scheduled to be open on January 2023, has been delayed. It's still under construction. I assume it's because of COVID, uh, the delays, but uh, I guess I'll be able to show it to you next time. I'm going to try to find another tower. I'm going to be taking their second form of mass transit, their subway, which is very clean and very safe. Now about to take their third form of mass transit, which is called their Rapid KL. It's a monorail system again, or it's a train above the ground. Here across the way from the station is a mosque and Malaysia is a multi-faith nation. Uh, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, and Christians all coexisting peacefully. Interesting sign, no eating or drinking, no littering, no pungent items like durian fruit, no animals, no French kissing or indecent behavior, and no dangerous goods, flammable substances signs. Fine of 500 ringgit, which is about $150. Um, no crossing the tracks, no flammable substances, no chewing gum, <laughs> no littering, no food, and no smoking. Um, Just to clear up a common misconception which many of us Westerners have from rumors we have heard of Southeast Asia, including Singapore and Malaysia, it's not illegal to chew gum on the metro in Malaysia. It's only illegal to spit out the gum or stick it to a seat or surface as it creates sticky litter, which is difficult to remove in this humid climate. As I exit the subway station, I'm met by some really tall skyscrapers, including the Petronas Twin Towers, which is the tallest twin towers in the world. For 1,452 feet high and uh, compared to the tallest building in the United States which is the Willis Tower in Chicago that's 1,450 feet high. In this view you can actually see that these are twin towers and the tallest twin towers in the world. They have been so uh, since they were first built in 1996. So they are indeed taller than the World Trade Centers that were in New York City. Not to be outdone by Bangkok, the um, Kuala Lumpur shopping mall attached to the Petronas Towers has every brand you can think of. Um, there's a Prada, Estee Lauder, Fendi, Salvatore Ferragamo, Gucci in the distance. The places to eat including Taco Bell, but the longest lineup 
is at the Subway Sandwich Shop. Malay food is a fusion of Indian and Chinese foods. Also, there are lots of Indian food places and lots of Chinese food places. Street foods are often fried and covered in spicy and tangy curry sauces. For sensitive palates and tummies, be assured that there are lots of good old American food choices available everywhere. Steaks, burgers, lasagna, pastas, etc. with the accompanying American side dishes are also readily available. Of course, sushi is also available. The mall is called Surya KLCC and it's attached to the Patronas Twin Towers and it is an extremely luxurious mall with every brand name you can think of and more. Um, they've got money in this city and they're not afraid to spend it. It's not as great as Icon Siam that I last showed you in Bangkok, uh, but it's up there with the, uh, the other mall that I showed you in Bangkok. Uh, and it's definitely better than most malls in North America. Make sure they're not being outdone by Bangkok. They've got this gorgeous park um, with a water show right in front of the mall. And there's a beautiful park in behind. I'm in the park. I'm no arborist, but I've never seen trees like this before. Here's another view from the park of the Patronas Twin Towers. Behind the Twin Towers is a residence building shaped kind of like the Twin Towers. And it's got plants growing all the way up and down. I guess you can do that in a tropical country. It's absolutely beautiful. The design of this building and those are luxury condos. The thing that is different about Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, is the traffic laws are strictly followed. So if there's a red light, the cars stop. And if it's a green light for you, you get to walk. Okay, so keeping up with the signs and the warnings. No chewing gum, no posters or bills, uh, no animals, no bicycles allowed on the metro, no commercial cargo, no playing music. You have to be very quiet, no begging and no loitering. That's it for my video today. If you have any questions or comments, I welcome them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, post a like, and hit the notification bell for future videos.